it is 2020. Where did 2019 go? I'm not really sure, but it was a whirlwind. And it was ultimately a disappointment, especially for me and my channel. Uh, YouTube went over a lot of changes in one year. Uh, it decided that at one point it was going to be monitoring every video. Um, if there was some swear words, you would get demonetized or you would be flagged and wouldn't be seen by a lot of the general populace. Then they decided, let's do this COPA thing. And now videos can be rated R again, but we won't show any kids them because you have to mark your videos for adults only. There was a lot of changes and I rolled the dice incorrectly and, and decided to uh, move a lot of my content to my second channel, Adam Olinger. You should check that out for sure because this year in 2020, I have new promises. I have new goals to not achieve and not attain. And I'm gonna give them to you now. So on the main channel, Adam does movies. We're gonna be talking about movies only still but I'm going to get rid of car side reviews. I was, I was knocking out those pretty, pretty frequently, once a week at least for, for quite a while. I just don't like them. And it has nothing, if, if you like them, I'm sorry that, that uh, I'm getting rid of them, but I just didn't like them. Um, they were too kind of low budget for me, even though I have no budget on my show. They just felt very cheap for what, what I want to produce. And I know that ultimately it's like, who cares? It's just about the opinions and, and about the, the quick insight, if you should see the movie or not. But ultimately, you know, my goal about, with the channel is twofold. It's, it was to talk movies because I, I, have, I have a passion for them. And the ultimate goal is to entertain, to make you laugh. I, I, I try my hardest to come out with original material, make it funny, make it clever. And I thought the car said reviews just were, were bland and they, they were maybe too much of, of, of me, <laughs> which, which can ultimately be kind of lame. So I'm going to focus again on movie feuds, Adam Rant's movies. They're coming back. I pulled all the videos off, put them on the second channel. Now I'm going to put new ones here. They are, they are going to be um, like the one I just showed with the, you know, the, the more fun background. I'm, I'm not swearing up a storm. I want them to be somewhat inclusive to everybody, but still have a lot of jokes and, and, and make them kind of concise and fast. And, and the ones that are pulled on my second channel will stay there. They, they're, they're a lot of swearing. There's a lot of over the top nonsense and it can, they can stay there. I don't need to keep moving them. Um, if you want to hear, if you want to hear me more aggressive, more, you know, just like pretending to kill people in the, in the theater that are annoying me, definitely go to Adam Mullinger, youtube.com slash Adam Mullinger. Um, I'm going to be putting my Adam Rance issues there, which are anything that's not movie related. The Cringe, probably my favorite show to do, not to edit, but my favorite show to record is, is exclusive to my second channel because that one's just, I, I, I learned that people that would come to uh, this channel, Adam, Adam uh, Does Movies, were often confused when I would put out these character videos where I play Khaleesi Grimes 82, who's this over the top fake super nerd that loves everything corporate and, and you know, just jumps on the bandwagon of what to hate uh, just on, on a whim. So th those are staying over there. Any, any sort of character show is over there. Uh, Movie Boss season two, if you like season one, it was kind of this fun experimental show me and some buddies did. I really want to do a second season and maybe when it's not negative 20 out here in Minnesota, we will, we will find time to get together again and, and do more episodes. So the cringe Adam Rance issues and movie boss, those are the shows over there and any one-off random kind of things I want to do. I have, I have these other shows that I have in mind that I just need to do that. That's, that's over there over here. Movie feuds is the focus at least once a month, try to do two or more a month. Um, maybe I can just kind of make them smaller, shorter in length, because they are a lot of work to do. Um, the Adam Rance series is definitely going to be a weekly thing when I see movies, and I might go back and watch other movies just to do rants on them, fun rants, praises, things like that. And I don't know if I'm going to really do anything else here. I feel like what I learned more than anything the last nine years off and on on YouTube is that people want consistency. I've changed up this show so many times. I've changed the channel name multiple times. I've changed the format uh, probably a, a dozen times. And I've just changed the, the content that I present. I think I've, I, I've done 20, 25 shows over the course of my nine years on this thing. The other thing I wanna say is for those that have followed me for a long time, you know that this is a passion project and a hobby. Uh, every year I make less and less on YouTube. Every year I turn down opportunities to 
have like promotion before the videos. And, you know, we did that back in like way back in season one in like 2009 or whatever, 2011, 2011, I think is when I started. We would do like little bumpers before. I stopped doing that years ago, but but the opportunities are there. I just don't like doing it. I, I, I hate when shows would do that. They have like a blue apron thing that's 45 minutes long or they shove one into the middle of the video. I just, all I say is I have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Adam does movies. Please support me there. If you like the show, if you just want to give a dollar, that's cool. People have been doing it for years. You get nothing from me. I mean, I, it's rare when you get something thrown back your way, other than the, the concept that you're helping me out to and motivating me to keep going. It really is a huge motivator. And, you know, once every six months to a year, I'll cry about getting more subs or patrons, but that's about it. I really try to just focus on the work, focus on making a good show to entertain and the chips fall as they may at that point. I should be better at promoting myself, but that's where we're at. If you know other ways to, to help the channel grow, by all means, uh, show me a comment or, or do whatever you need to do. Post stuff on Reddit, post stuff wherever the kids are at these days. I don't know. Otherwise, I am motivated this year. We're, we are going to get things course corrected. 2019 was a complete disaster on my part because of just all the different ways I went with things. Movie feuds, Adam Rant's movies, those are the shows. Jump on the second channel if you want more loony stuff that's, that's off the wall and, and a little more adult. But I, I'm, I'm, I think this is going to work. I think we're going to see some growth finally. And if not, that's, that's, it is what it is. But I, I do have some high hopes. I'm going to be doing some more collabs. You may have noticed I, I recently had Sean Chandler on one of the movie feuds. I have other people that I'm talking to that are going to come on for those. So once more, thank you so much if you've been supporting me on, on Patreon over the years or even on the YouTube join, you can do that. I wish they came up with like a good term, a good name for that, but it's just clicking the join button. And I think it's $4.99 a month, gets you badges and, and a couple other things. But otherwise, it, it's just really you just showing a little bit of additional support. And I understand people are poor college kids, poor high school kids. It, that's, that's fine. I, whatever you can do. If you can't do anything and just watch and share with your friends, that's awesome too. But 2020, we're, we're coming. We're going to do it. And I'm going to leave you with uh, a little over the years montage. I thought it was kind of fun to look back on when I, I had a co-host, Corey, who did the show with me. And the, I've talked about this many times. He, he just left. We, we did it for a year and a half, two years off and on. It was a struggle. It's really tough to get a YouTube show going. And he, he just he didn't have time anymore. He had a family and kids, too. I, we're, we're still friends. We still chat. He's, it's all good. But it was fun looking back on movie feuds and how it started in 2011 and how it's kind of changed over the years into what it is now, for better and worse. I, I, I do have some fun nostalgia with the show when it started, and it was definitely fun, you know, kind of bouncing ideas and, and conversation off someone else. But I also, I kind of I like where things ended up too. So it's, it's, it's a little bit of both. Anyway, enjoy, and we will see you soon. Take care. Hey everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Movie Feuds, the show that lets you decide some of the biggest debates in movie history. This week, we take a super villain style and decide which movie's better, X-Men 2 or Spider-Man 2. This is one of those things where to make that great comedy, you got to follow a little bit of fun. I'm not really a big fan of romantic comedies in general. Welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds, where this week we've got a Pixar clash. That's right, we've both got Woody's and we're going to compare them. We've got Toy Story 2 versus Toy Story 3. What? Welcome back to another episode of Movie Feuds. This week we're battling the Romans versus the Spartans in another versus episode, Gladiator versus 300. This is Sparta! And this is Movie Feuds. I'm not that good at that. No. Hey, you guys that are Sandlot fans, you better grab a shovel because me and the Goonies, we're going to bury this bitch. Truffle shuffle your ass on home, Goonies. Sandlot's taking the field. I've had hundreds, if not two or three requests to do an Iron Man versus Dark Knight trilogy. Well, Mom, your wish has been granted. Spider-Man 2 is considered by many as the greatest Spider-Man film to date. 
Andrew Garfield hopes to steal that crown from Tobey Maguire with his interpretation, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And he is successful. Thanks for swinging in and feuding with me today, Mark. I'm seriously gonna leave if you keep doing Spider-Man puns. <laughs> Stick around. Spider-Web. It's week two of Potter Month and this one's huge. Arguably two of the best of the franchise go head to head with Prisoner of Azkaban taking on the Goblet of Fire. It's gonna be a good match. The choice is Jesus easy. Christ. Prisoner of Azkaban is the clear winner. God? Two of arguably the biggest cash grabs clash swords and sabers this week as The Hobbit takes on the Star Wars prequels. Welcome back to Movie Feuds. The holidays are just around the corner, and even though I prefer to watch Die Hard or Gremlins, I can swallow my pride and feud something a bit more common. As a bonus, we're going to be doing a holiday themed pun counter. So watch, pay attention, and listen as the Santa Claus films go missile toe to toe on Movie Feuds. <laughs> Two Shakespearean inspired superhero films do battle. It's The Lion King, I mean Black Panther, versus Thor on Movie Feuds. Things heat up as a movie based on a TV series goes head to head with a soft sequel to that movie based on a TV series. It's 2000's Charlie's Angels versus the 2019 whatever thing on Movie Feuds. Most would agree that the original Star Wars trilogy is the best of the Skywalker saga. Today I ask the hard question though, which comes in second place, the sequels or the prequels on this episode of Movie Feuds. This is where the fun begins. <laughs> 